Everybody, welcome to BioS3 Raw TV. I am, again, talking about branched-chain amino acids. And you guys gotta understand, the goal of my videos and everything that I'm doing with this branched-chain amino acid things is not to get people to hate branched-chain amino acids and not to get people to freak the fuck out, but to make you think and do your own research. And, um, you know, the cancer video I made with cancer as a fuel for branched-chain amino acids, for some reason, and I don't know why this is, but people automatically thought I was saying cancer, uh, BCAs cause cancer. Like, I thought I explained it as clear as I possibly could that I was trying to make a point that branched-chain amino acids are such an efficient fuel source as glucose that are turned into glucose that cancer, which only uses glucose as a source of fuel, tears down muscle tissue, which is wasting disease, to get those branched-chain amino acids and actually oxidizes more branched-chain amino acids, which means uses them more than the average person who is not ill. So it is a powerful conversion from branched chain amino acids, which are amino acids, to, lo uh, to leucine, excuse me, to glucose, okay? And that's the point I'm trying to make, because a lot of people still think they'll see Jerry, but branched chain amino acids are essential amino acids. So I take it after my workout, don't I just build muscle because it has leucine in it. And I'm trying to explain to you guys over and over again, it's an energy source, okay? Leucine triggers muscle protein synthesis, but you need all of the essential amino acids and branched chains are part of that but it's not the only thing. If you're missing the rest of the amino acids, your body will not increase muscle mass, okay? That's how that works. It's science, it's a fact, etc. CJ from, um, from uh, Price Plow had actually sent me a message. He wanted to know what links I was using about the cancer and stuff. I sent them to him. And he mentioned that he didn't think that, um, like my original video didn't mention certain things that were in those articles and stuff. And I was like, that's right, because it wasn't really about those articles. It was just specifically to explain conversion from branched chain amino acids, which are amino acids, to glucose. Like I can't hammer that home hard enough because people don't realize that they're actually making energy from these branched chains. Still, despite video after video after hammering it home, it's still not understood, right? So I was like, you know what, right, I haven't talked about a lot of the stuff that was in there because I didn't think it was necessary, but what I did want to do tonight is, let me put this, pull this up right now. So Dr. Serrano, you guys know him from um, John Meadows' videos, Mountain Dog. Very smart guy, doctor, MD. He's been doing a study or a collection of data, I should put, rather than saying a study, about branched chain amino acids and them causing diabetes. You might be like, Jerry, what the fuck? Like, you're so off base. This is not my information. This is Dr. Serrano's. And actually, a video called The Importance of Amino Acid Ratios that he made in 2017, July 6, 2017, talking about this, right? And I'll just do a quick kind of little thing that he wrote. The wrong ratios of amino acids increase MOTOR, M-T-O-R, which can lead to chronic inflammation. High levels of leucine in common with branched chain amino acids, which those new ones, 15 to 1 to 1, like they're really cranking out more leucine. And the more leucine that's activated in your body over and over again constantly, this is, um, will lead to a, can lead to a pre-diabetic state, okay? Um, he said that he's performed thousands of patient hormonal blood work reviews each year to research the impact on the supplements, training, etc. So he's been doing this for quite a long time. And he talks about the ratio of each amino acid within the 100% MR in muscle synthesis has a huge beneficial impact rates on recovery, performance, and body composition transformation. He researched many different protein sources to discover the ideal sequence of amino acids. While doing this, he realized that branched chain amino acids in overabundance, and I think it's specifically the leucine, high amounts of leucine over and over again in your body trying to trigger that response, the motor response goes up and that causes a pre-diabetic state. Now, I don't think many people out there have gone that far. I don't think many people have drank so many branched chain amino acids that they've gone diabetic. I don't, I'm not saying that whatsoever, but interesting though, right? Nobody ever talks about that stuff. Everybody talks about the branched chain. Now let's just say for instance, there's somebody out there. This is a total hypothetical fucking situation, okay? There's somebody out there, and that person is drinking the 15 to 1 to 1, right? And they're doing 20 scoops a day, and they're doing three, you know, they're flavoring their water with it. They're taking it before they work out. They're taking it after they work out, and they do enough of this for a long enough period of time. There's a very good chance they could become pre-diabetic. Now, what happens is they become pre-diabetic. They go to the doctor, and the last thing the doctor is going to think about is branched-chain amino acids because they're not looking at that. They're looking at family history, lifestyle, foods, anything but a branched-chain amino acid supplement. However, the research is there, the data is there that this could happen. Now, let me ask you, I pose you this question right now. How many of you have ever thought for one second, sipping on your branched-chain amino acids, that it could possibly, in some fucking realm and universe, cause you to be diabetic? 
I'm willing to bet, unless you've seen Serrano's video, none of you have ever thought about that. Although it's a fact. Okay, go watch his. I'm going to actually put a link in the description box down below to watch it. It's a very short video. But you can look up Dr. Serrano and find more information that he's, I mean, he's a really smart guy. I've listened to his lectures. I've watched his videos. I've never met him. But smart guy that delves into stuff that most people would kind of not really pay attention to, which is what makes me like him and John Meadows together. They are scientific, but they also know there are other things that science hasn't, science hasn't caught up to yet. So let's look into these other things and see if there's links between them. And let's see if there's actual scientific studies that back them up that may not have been the focus of the studies, but they found out this information anyways, and it's not really been paying attention to because the study was about something else and other information was found. And that wasn't really followed up on, which is another thing that, again, people don't do. They're looking for the general information about that study, but not the other things. Like people will say, um, you know, this doesn't have that much impact on blood sugar, but it still has an impact on blood sugar. So what people see and, and compute when they read that is, doesn't have an effect on blood sugar. No, it says it doesn't have much effect or has minimal effect on blood sugar. However, it does affect blood sugar. So when you say to someone, this affects blood sugar, they go, no, it doesn't. Studies say it doesn't. No, studies say it does, but it doesn't affect it that much. However, there are individuals that have uh, predisposed conditions that it could affect and could affect that. But because the study said it's minimal effects, people read that and then kind of move it around in their head a little bit to be no effects on blood sugar, which is not the truth. So now all of a sudden we have this information spreading and although it's scientific partially, it's not the full truth. Like so many times I have said something on camera and people have been like, well, Jerry said this. I actually didn't say that. I didn't say branched chain amino acids cause cancer. I didn't say that one bit. I said they're a fuel for cancer and if a cancer uses those as the only source of fuel is glucose, what do you think your body's gonna do when it converts those amino acids? Use it for glucose and it's gonna slow down using fat for energy. Like. And, and people literally heard me say it causes cancer. The basketball is not cardio. People literally heard me say basketball is not cardio for anyone. Meanwhile, the people that argued with me actually have clients. Their clients contacted me, okay? Sent me the emails. I have the emails myself of them talking to the trainer. And the trainer was like, you're playing basketball and you're on the basketball team, but it's not enough cardio. You've been doing it long enough to where it's not that effective. Now we need to increase cardio. And this trainer gave and prescribed cardio to his client, but then made fun of me and bashed me and talked shit about me. However, did the exact same thing I was talking about. Like it boggles my mind how people can look at, you know, a title of a video and that they just look at the title and they automatically make up what's in it in their head or they listen to what I'm saying and they're so amped up by the fact that the title rubbed them the wrong way, but they're not actually listening to what I say. So hopefully you guys understand now that this is not about damning branch chain amino acids. It's not about getting them off the market. It's not about anything like that. It's about actually putting out information that nobody's really talking about. You know, and I'll be honest with you, 10 years ago, I didn't give a fuck. Five years ago, I didn't give a fuck. At 42 years old, I'm starting to look at things and say, okay, health-wise, what can this do? Yes, I put all kinds of drugs in my body. Yes, I did all kinds of shit. My body was a playground for fucking years. However, it's not anymore. Like my top priority is being healthy and enjoying my fucking life and having a good sense of everything that's going into my body so I can have a better quality of life for a longer period of time. My priorities have changed and you're seeing that through this. Like, yes, I want to be in shape. Yes, I want to be stronger. Yes, I want to be me. But I also want to be aware of everything that I'm putting in there because I realize there's a lot of stuff that I wasn't paying attention to that many of you were not paying attention to. And that stuff can mean something to somebody. If you're the predisposition for this, for becoming pre-diabetic, if you're, you have a predisposition for cancer and you're taking branch chain amino acids, this counts for you. If you don't fit in those categories, just blow it off. Just blow it off like it didn't happen. Just be like, I don't even give a fuck. Fuck you, Jerry. I'm a bodybuilder. I don't even give a shit. But those of you out there that are being lost and dropped, like slipped through the cracks and people are not giving a fuck about you, this one is for you. Biosetraining at gmail.com. Leave comments down below, but don't fight. www.biosetraining.com is a blog. So this one's for you, Bicep, and we are...